I was born in battle, on an asteroid called Demon's Run. I was the daughter of Amy Pond and Rory Williams. They named me Melody Pond. What you are going to be, Melody, is very, very brave. I was kidnapped. Two names. Taken by Kavarian, a servant of the silence, to an orphanage on Earth. I was raised with only one purpose, to kill the Doctor. I escaped the spacesuit and lived on the streets. Homeless, alone and dying, until I regenerated. And became the best friend of young Amy and Rory. Why are you always in trouble? You must in trouble in the whole school except for boys. And you? I count as a boy. Growing up with my parents. Yes, Rory. Waiting for the arrival of the doctor. <laughs> and then I regenerated into a new form. I was the woman who would become River Song. Although, I didn't know that at the time. Let's see, then. Ooh, it's all going on down there, isn't it? It's River Song. Who's River Song? Spoilers. Spoilers? What spoilers? Hang on. Down to business. I was trained and conditioned for one purpose. I was born to kill the Doctor. And I did so with a kiss. This is what they were building. My bespoke psychopath. I'm on your sweetie. A kiss poisoned by the Judas tree. But I was shown who River Song would be, and I saw just how much I would love him. And so I gave all my remaining lives to restore his. Because I knew the doctor was worth it. Do you want to study archaeology? I knew that someday I would find the doctor. Well, to be perfectly honest, Professor, I'm looking for a good man. But the spacesuit was waiting for me. You never really escaped us, Melody Pond. We were always coming for you. How do you know who I am? I made you what you are. The woman who kills the doctor. No! No! But I just couldn't bring myself to kill him. Hello, sweetie. And so all of time collapsed. And only the doctor could save the universe. I'm about to whisper something in your ear, and you have to remember it very, very carefully and tell no one what I said. Rule one, the doctor lies. He escaped his own death. A secret I knew I had to keep. Even though it meant imprisonment. But I've always been good at escaping. Oh, 
turn it off. I'm breaking in, not out. This is River Song back in her cell. They've taken Amy. And our baby. The doctor's getting some people together. We're going after her, but he needs you too. From this point on, I realized I knew more than him. I can't. Not yet, anyway. I'm sorry? This is the day he finds out who I am. Oh, look, you're caught. Haven't seen that in a very long while. No, no, you tell me. Tell me who you are. I am telling you. From that moment on, we were living our lives in the wrong order, the Doctor and me. And in all our future meetings, I would know him more, but he would know me less. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Until one day the doctor would invite me to watch me kill him. Hello, sweetie. Right then, where are we? Have we done Easter Island yet? Um, yes, I've got Easter Island. Sorry, what are you two doing? We're both time travellers, so they never meet in the right order. They're singing their diaries. Once again, I found myself at Lake Silencio. That's an in a lake. Yep. Folding back on my own timeline. This time, a witness to the Doctor's shooting. Knowing everything, but unable to tell those who cared the most that the Doctor would survive. How can you be okay with this? The Doctor's death doesn't frighten me. Nor does my own. There's a far worse day coming for me. Back to the orphanage where I grew up. Only this time, as witness to my own escape. She climbed out of the suit. Like, she forced her way out. She must be incredibly strong. Incredibly strong and running away. I'm running away. <laughs> Did I mention I was kick-ass with a gun? No one kidnaps me and gets away with it. So, what kind of doctor are you? Archaeology. And then came his first kiss. And my last. Right. What's wrong? You're acting like we've never done that before. We haven't. We haven't? Oh. But it was very nice. It was... It was good. It was, um, unexpected. You know what they say? It's the first time for everything. And the last time... But I always knew the doctor would be there for me, so long as I left him a message. Hello, sweetie. You graffitied the oldest cliff face in the universe. You wouldn't answer your phone. It's a Pandora girl. More than just a fairy tale. River. Who are you? You're going to find out very soon now. And I'm sorry. But that's when everything changes. He would always be there to catch me. Even at the crash of the Byzantium he came. My love couldn't resist it. Bringing with him an Amy who did not know me. Amy Pond. Professor Rivers. How early is this for you? Very early. So you don't know who I am yet? How do you know who I am? I don't always look the same. I've got pictures of all your faces. You never show up in the right order, though. I need the spotter's guide. Octavian said you killed a man. Yes, I did. Who? <laughs> it's a long story, Doctor. No sneak previews. Well, except for this one. 
you'll see me again quite soon when the Pandorica opens. Pandorica. <laughs> I just climbed out of the Byzantium. You were there. So young. Didn't have a clue who I was. Huh? You're funny like that. I finally let her know the wonderful secret that the best man I'd ever known was alive. Hey! However delighted they were, I knew a far worse day was waiting for me. Remind me, the library has been breached. Others are coming. My last encounter with a doctor. Hello, sweetie. Get out. I always knew that one day my love wouldn't know me. Now I looked into his eyes and saw that day had come. Crash of the Byzantium. Have we done that yet? Doctor, please tell me you know who I am. Who are you? You know him, don't you? Oh, God, do I know that man. You go way back, that man and me. Just not this far back. I'm sorry, what? This is the doctor in the days before he knew me. And he looks at me and he... He looks right through me and it shouldn't kill me, but it does. The doctor was willing to sacrifice himself to save the library. But I had to take his place. The last time I saw you, the real you, the future you, I mean, you turned up on my doorstep with a new haircut and a suit. If you die here, it'll mean I've never met you. Time can be rewritten. Not those times. Not one line. Don't you dare. It's okay. It's okay. It's not over for you. You'll see me again. You've got all of that to come. You and me. You watch us run. Whether you know my name. Auto destruct. You whispered my name in my ear. Nine. Eight. Seven. There's only one reason I would ever tell anyone my name. There's only one time I could. Shh. Three. Spoilers. Two. But that man, that impossible man, never gives up. The doctor saved me, preserving me in a computer, and all my glorious memories of the doctor live on 